fundamentally, we believe every student should have access to educational opportunities that can lead to a pathway out of poverty. Um, and that things like hunger and homelessness, meeting basic needs should never get in the way, but too often do. Uh, as many of you know, Bridge to Finish really started off um, as a one-stop program, um, providing access to public benefits, tax credits, food resources, emergency grants um, on college campuses. Um, and to date, we work with 10 colleges. Um, throughout the pandemic, uh, we've offered those services in a virtual mode. Um, and today we're starting to shift back and it's a bit of a hybrid right now where some services are in person and some um, continue to be virtual. And we think that's good. Uh, we actually think that uh, the pandemic has pushed us in a number of ways uh, to better meet the needs of students who may not be uh, going to campus full time, may need to access things over the weekends or in the evenings. And so we are taking a lot of learnings that we've had over the last 18 months and really uh, building out a model for how to make sure that every student has access to their basic needs so that they can have those educational opportunities. Last year, uh, the program helped over 6,000 students access 27,000 financial interventions. Um, we are super proud um, of that. Um, we're super excited that um, our AmeriCorps members, our staff coordinators on those campuses have really been able to listen to what the needs of students are um, and address and provide different resources that help them um, access food, access housing. Fundamentally at the core of this program is trusting students. Uh, when, we, when we started this work, we heard a lot of no's. And anyone that knows me and my team knows, I, we hate the word no, right? Like if, if a student needs something, we need to get it to them. We need to do it fast. And we need to figure out how we do it today and then build a system out so that tomorrow there's resources for them. And that's what we found. Uh, we found that you know, students need food. And so often, um, maybe somebody was giving them a small, a small gift voucher or a small bag of food. Um, throughout the pandemic, we've been able to really adapt and begin to use that DoorDash program that Gordon talked about. Um, that DoorDash program is helping over 5,700 households every single week get healthy and culturally appropriate food delivered right to them, including hundreds of college students in our region. They no longer have to worry about where they're going to get food for themselves or their families. And by getting those, those food bags delivered to them, we're then also connecting them to lo uh, longer term supports like for the food stamp program. Um, that trust goes a long way in really thinking about how we uh, Im address immediate needs that students have. Um, we know that, you know, if a student gets a flat tire, if a student uh, needs to pay their rent, they need to do it now. They need to not have to provide a lot of documentation or go through many, many hoops to do it. Uh, so we have partnered with organizations like Equity, which is a national fintech um, partner who helps us uh, evaluate student needs and get resources out to them very, very quickly. Those emergency grants that we are providing through dollars that you all have helped us raise um, are helping to ensure that our students are able to stay in school, meet their needs, and support not just them, but their families. 